Sentence is a cloud-based enterprise-level SaaS platform, and it's used to generate automated transcripts, to create closed captions, to translate those captions into alternate languages, and also to export caption files in all known industry-supported formats. Trance is also fully web-based. It's a SaaS platform, and it's accessible via a LAN, WAN, or even a basic internet connection. So as you see on your screen, there's a simple login process. It's very simple. Just point any browser to the Trance launch page, which is what you see, and you enter your username and password. And once you're inside, we'll take a look at the main Trance application homepage. And at the top of that page are four options, manage files, export, and preferences. Very simple and very straightforward. Now, we're not going to spend a lot of time here sort of on the admin side, but while we are here, um, I want to take a quick look at the manage menu. So as an enterprise tool, Trance is fully configurable for an unlimited number of users, groups, and roles. The manage section is where we set this up and we manage these and other uh, similar functions. Administrators of the system can also manage multiple projects. They can create and manage users, define roles and permissions, as well as establish, <clears throat> excuse me, system presets. So the manage preset section is the only other section I wanna take a look at right here. Uh, and this is important because it gives users the ability to define caption attributes, such as the number of lines, the line length, total number of characters, text frame gap, et cetera. Custom presets allow users to predefine captioning parameters to automatically conform the work done in Trance to comply with requirements and style guidelines from providers like Netflix and Quibi. So to get media into Trance, we have a tool that we use called Media Services Portal. And like Trance Media Services Portal, or also called MSP, is a cloud-based platform which allows users to ingest any number of common audio and video file formats into Trance. So once you're inside Trance, we simply select Add Job, which you're gonna see here in the upper right. We select the desired process, and then we simply point to and upload our media into Trance. And it's just that simple. I'm gonna just pause here and give the application a chance to catch up. And that's it. So we upload, point to our files, and then we just, again, upload those assets into Trance. So another couple of important points about MSP is it can directly integrate with both FTP and Amazon S3. Digital Nirvana also offers an open API to integrate media services portal directly into large enterprise media systems. So using our API, those operators don't need to create a secondary workflow process to move media into and out of Trance. And this is a really big time saving and productivity advantage of Trance. So with that said, now that we've uploaded some media via Media Services Portal, it's time to go back into Trance to access the job that we just imported. So to do this, we go back to that main Trance page and we go to Files menu and we select Transcription Edit. Now, as soon as we do this, we should immediately see the Transcript Edit interface open up and we see the Trance speech to text engine has created a highly accurate transcript of the media that we just imported. Now this eliminates the necessity of doing the manual transcribing of content and again, delivers huge productivity gains over conventional transcription methods. The Trance speech to text process is also highly accurate between roughly 90 to 95% accurate based on good quality content. So while we're here, let's take a few moments to walk through the tools and the features of the transcript interface. In the center, we have the main text field, and this tool provides a fast and easy way to view the entire transcript and quickly make any corrections to the text. And to the left is a very powerful media player with intuitive controls, which allow for the adjustment of and playback of, of uh, the, the audio and video. Uh, there's a scrub bar for navigation. There are VTR style controls for playback and shuttling of the asset. And then there's also an auto scroll and auto seek option as well. The transcript uh, interface also pro provides operators with a number of additional tools for, again, fast and easy text editing, which include the auto highlight of potentially misspelled words. We've got a spell check tool, a find and replace word search tool. There's also the ability to adjust uh, based on user preference, the typeface, the line height, the font size, et cetera. We can also highlight words uh, as we go through the editing process that have been altered, edited, added, so forth in the interface. As well, there's a, a, a glossary of keyboard shortcuts to automate routine tasks, as well as there's a utility that allows us to integrate third-party foot pedals, if that is what your operation is used to doing in your workflow. So once we're in this process and our transcript is edited and it's exactly as we want, 
we go to the upper right and we say we choose save and close. Now choosing complete in this process keeps, keeps this job in the transcript domain so that additional users can further edit or approve the job at a later time. If we instead choose complete, this closes the transcript phase and then sends this job to the caption edit portion of trans. And we click OK and we complete that process. So to create captions, now that we're at this next stage, we'll go back to the files menu and this time we'll select caption edit. Now in the center portion of the interface is the edited transcript of the text that we just completed. And there it pops up on the screen. But now that text has been parsed and indexed to the media according to the preset values that we initially set up and I mentioned at the beginning. So Trance has done all this formatting work for us in the background and saved us, again, tremendous amounts of time and effort in the process. This is another major productivity advantage of Trance. Like before, the caption edit section of Trance includes the same media player and the powerful text edit editing capabilities. If we need to refine or change what Trance has created, we can easily navigate to a given section to add, delete, or edit any of the text. We can also split captions and move entire portions via keyboard shortcuts or just basic cut and paste operations. If we make any changes which might violate our uh, preset formatting rules, Trance automatically warns us of the violation with a red highlight. You see that in, it looks like section nine right there. Um, so this, uh, uh, this automatically alerts us to, again, a, a violation of, of some type. Once we go ahead and we correct that issue and the warning disappears and you also see the red disappears with it as well. Trance also includes a utility allowing for customizable placement of captions anywhere within the media, which is in the upper right hand portion of the interface. At this point, a question that commonly comes up once people see and experience Trance is they say, hey, can I create captions, you know, in more than one language? And with Trance, the answer is always yes. So again, staying in the caption edit interface, all we do is select add language and we just simply choose the desired language which pops up from this dialog and we will choose Spanish, I think, for, for this case. Within a matter of seconds, once we make that selection, Trance completes a translation of the English captions from English to Spanish and it populates those captions in a secondary edit window. They're going to come up here in just one second and there you see them. We can now, that they're populated, edit the Spanish captions just as we did before with the English. To go back, if we want to revert back to only seeing the English cap captions, we just simply click the right arrow button in the English column and those uh, Spanish captions collapse and are now hidden. But Trans Auto saves and collapses that, those captions from view. Uh, and once all your caption edits are finalized, we simply choose either complete or incomplete again in the upper right of the interface. And that's the, the completion of that caption edit portion. So the only left thing left to do at this point is really to export the actual caption files themselves. And to do this, we go to the export menu back at the, the main trance page and we select projects. We select a date from the calendar tool on or before the date of the project and click apply. From here, we locate the job ID number in the table and we move to the far right of the interface and select open. The job we want to export is now open and in the upper right of the UI, we select generate captions. Within a few seconds, Trance will generate the various sidecar caption files for this particular job. Those caption files will be created again based on the presets that we defined and we spoke about at the beginning. If we want to look at the caption files we just created, we can navigate to the left side of the interface where it says download captions and select zip. This action downloads a zip file, you can see that happening, where we can open and then examine the various caption files output by Trance. And once it's open, we can go look through the directory and we can see the various types of both English and in this case, Spanish, since we did the translation of all the files that, uh, that Trance has now created for us. And that's it. In that short amount of time, we've completed the entire process. Uh, we've, we've done all of that work. We've, we've imported text. We have generated a speech to text transcript. We've edited, edited that transcript. We've created and translated captions and we've even output caption files. We accomplished all of this work in a very short amount of time from a single cloud-based application that's accessible to any user anywhere in the world. And we did it all faster and more effectively than a traditional captioning application. So this is Trance, and this is the power of AI technology 